I'm in Alaska right now in probably the most dense location of ancient bones in the world. Welcome to the Boneyard. Located on private property and owned by John Reeves, this place has been making history. From the smallest of insects to the biggest mammoth, anything can be found here. And we'll be using these two high-pressured hoses to wash away dirt to see what we can uncover. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Joining us today is Alora. You may recognize her from the 10,000 bucket of pater that we did a few years ago at Gold Daughters. She is gonna be touring us around today along with her husband, Drew. And hopefully we're gonna recover a whole mammoth, right? Yeah, at least one. At least Maybe more. At least one. Whoa. Okay, look at these bones that were recently found here. I don't know what any of these are, but they look very old and they smell really interesting. And I think these were found, was this this morning? Yeah, I think these were today. This all is just from the past week. So you can see how many are coming out of here. And really this is slow for us. Um, yeah. But there's still a couple hundred <laughs> that we found. Oh my goodness. I've actually seen this place so many times on uh, the Boneyard Alaska Instagram page and also on the Joe Rogan podcast if you guys know what that is. So the first thing you notice is the smell. It smells, a lot of people may not like it, but I'm weird, I like it. It smells it really is, old. Yeah, it's like musky. Yeah, it's Earthy. like a... It's like a rotten musk. Yeah. <laughs> you guys should actually make a cologne that has that rotten musk from the boneyard. Alora has found the first bone of the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I, I saw that. I thought of the stick, so I ignored it. Oh, no, you can see like where the bone marrow is. Ah. That's how you know it's a bone. That's cool. Do you know what this would be from? And it's um, actually heavy too. That makes sense. You know, it kind of looks like a. It's a mammoth piece of skull. a mammoth toe bone. Oh, toe bone. Yeah, like just got broken on this backside. Some sort of phalange of, of a mammoth. What's this? It's a stick. This reminds me of hunting for artifacts, actually. How you're always looking at the ground. There's a ton of wood here, and obviously gravels. Man, I, I feel like finding a bone in here would be very difficult, but luckily I'm with a professional who will help. So I was warned that obviously this is actually a hazard. This is all ice. It's not just dirt. It's ice and dirt because it's all permafrost. And if that were to fall on you, you would you would die. Mm -hmm. If I see something up on these edges, I'll run to it and I'll run back. But first, I gotta make sure nothing is gonna come down. She found another one. I was just about to shoot some B-roll, but she found another one. Another one. This one's super cool. Oh, that's cool. It has like markings on it. Yeah, some cool details on it. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, it's from other animals that maybe chewed on it okay. after it died for calcium. Could yeah. be from that. And you found Ooh, one. Ooh, While cool. holding the baby. See those striations in there? Okay. Wow. See these yeah, fragments cool. like, oh my God. Yeah, it is yeah, really. gonna get you on the board there, dude. Yeah, I'm behind. I wanna find a full mammoth. It's not gonna happen. So we already have a little bit of a handful going. Mm -hmm. I am not on the board yet. <laughs> you can do it. Ooh, that. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a favorite. <laughs> Did that actually connect? Yes. Sorry, I jumped. That's wild. That's crazy. They actually connect. People like find half bones or half, you know, That's rocks. Amazing. And they never find the other half. And you found it within they a couple did. minutes. So because there's so many sticks around, I feel like if I just stay still, I'll probably start to see things. No, that's a stick. Oh. I think I see teeth. Where? <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh! Whoa! Is this one? <laughs> that's that's, that's one. one. That one's Holy! Nice one. It's a bird. Well, it's a rock. Oh, yeah. so, Probably bison. Bison? Step of bison. Step, Step bison. bison. Yep. Wow. Holy cow. Full set of teeth. You're Ugh, officially gosh. a boner. <laughs> like... Oh my god. My that god. is wild. Like look where we are. A big hole in the ground somewhere in Alaska. I can't tell you where because I'll be, I'll, I'll get shot. Cheers. Okay, Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yay. That, is that a good first find? That's amazing. I'm jealous. I'm officially a boner. Oh, 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 okay. Being here in person is a whole different experience. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're having fun. I'm gonna take you along here for a little walk just to show you what it's like to look around. Obviously there's a lot of sticks, a lot of gravel and a lot of mud. Apparently, they found bones just sticking out of these walls, like mammoth tusks. We're actually gonna be using the hose here in a little bit. We're gonna point it this way. We're gonna wash some of this side away and hopefully reveal some more stuff. But before we do that, I found something. It's a bone, and I know for sure it's a bone. How obvious is that? That is a bone. 
<laughs> cool. Oh, there's like a hole in it too. A nice necklace. It's a camel toe. Oh, nice. Is it a moose knuckle? This is part of a bison leg bone. The way you tell the difference between the bison and the horse is the horse has a little bit of an angle to it. Okay. Do you know? There you go. About 40,000 years old, probably. 40,000? The major significance of the boneyard itself is we have Ice Age moose as well in our collection, which didn't show up until about 11,000 years ago. Some of the big megafauna that have gone extinct, like the mammoths and the steppe bison, we have them in our collection, but we also have the megafauna that still exists today. At last, it was time to play firefighter and man the big water gun. Slowly but surely, I was moving debris and exposing more permafrost. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get rid of a lot of this permafrost because that's where the bones are coming out of, just in this layer right there. And I must say, I am having fun. Okay, I moved the hose out of the way. Let's go have a look. So all of this is pretty fresh. I've kind of pulled a lot of this down. So I gotta look very carefully because most of this is gonna be new. I found, yes, I did find a bone, I think. No, it's a stick. I just pulled this guy out. Didn't think it was anything, but that is a bone covered in mud. And then I actually noticed a little more. There's another one right here too. So if you find bones, it's a good sign that there could be bones around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those bones, put them away safely, and I'm gonna get the hose and I'm gonna blast this whole little mound here and see if I can find more of them. I'm officially on the board. <laughs> yes, another one. I did find this little fragment too when I turned the camera off, so we are getting better. <laughs> this is actually so much fun. Could be a rock. Oh, okay, good. It's a bone. But yeah, there's a bone right here, so we're gonna try to uncover it. Ah, that's cold. Yeah, this stuff is solid, if, you, if you're wondering. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bone. Doing this takes a lot of time. The ice does not melt quickly, so as long as you consistently blast the hose and check the targets, you're bound to find something eventually. Okay, so we just turned off this big beast here and got the automated one working so we can have a quick break. So I just want to explain something real quick here. So the bones aren't everywhere in this big pit. They're really just along this layer, which is the permafrost, but we still have to bring this top layer down so we can keep working the permafrost. Otherwise, if you go too deep in the permafrost, you're gonna have a big risk of everything falling down. So a part of the process is to find the good bones down in here and then spend a lot of time kind of doing your homework and uh, being safe and getting rid of that top layer as well. So while I'm having a quick break here, I thought I would address some of the most popular questions that everybody gets asked who works at the boneyard. Why are some of the bones blue. The bones are exposed. There's a crystal that turns this bright blue color and that crystal was formed over thousands of years while they were still frozen in the ice. Vivianite, right? Vivianite. Uh -huh. And so it's a dead giveaway. Once it becomes exposed, it turns this bright blue and when the bones are wet, it's, you know, you can't miss it. So have I been looking for the bones wrong because I've been looking for sticks rather than blue? No, there's no <laughs> right wrong because uh, not all the bones have Vivianite. Are they bones? or fossils? Technically, they're just bones. They haven't started the fossilization process yet. They've been frozen in the permafrost, which is why we find organic matter, tissue, hair, all that kind of stuff still on the bone. We might refer to them as fossils or frozzles, frozen <laughs> fossils, but they're really just bones. Okay, so like an ammonite, those are like rocks. You can break them in half. That is a fossil because it's been rockified and the bones here have not been. Do you guys find complete animals? This is something I actually want to know too because I want to find a full mammoth. I told John I would, but it's probably not going to happen. So we have found complete animals. It's a little more rare. Just last summer we found an entirely mummified Arctic ground squirrel, which was the entire animal itself with the skin layer and all that good stuff. We might find like an American cave lion skull, like the lower jaw, the uh, upper part of the skull. Every once in a while we run into something special like that. So trying to wash away the permafrost takes a little bit of time. It's not that easy. Because the permafrost is ice, and this is just water, over time and because of the pressure, it will cut through the ice, but because this water is a little bit warmer, it does melt it slowly as well. 
I see a big bundle of tree roots that I'm trying to cut underneath so I can roll that over. The boneyard. So cool. We got another bone. No idea what it's from. We'll add that to the collection. Look what I found. Huh, that's cool. I think it's from a buffalo. I really hammered this whole entire area right here, but I'm not seeing anything yet. And also for you other gold prospectors out there, when you're trying to dig deep and you're looking for the gravel layer, check this out. This is 25 feet, 30 feet, and look at this layer of gravel. Look at all that. There could easily be gold in here. Oh. Hey, Laura. Yeah? Has anyone panned gold here? Has anyone tried? Oh, you have? Okay. Wow. What if I find gold instead of, instead of bones? That's great. Oh. Cool. Ah. <laughs> yeah, something just fell. See? That's how easy it is to become distracted and hurt yourself. I really want to have a good look through here. But, uh, I am kind of afraid. Woo! Oh. I've got another one, mate. Very nice. So I continued to blast the hose, pick up sticks, and eat things off the ground. But eventually, it was time to turn off the pumps and call it a day. All right, the pump is off, which means I am done for the day. I still can't believe I'm here. This is freaking awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't find an entire mammoth today. Maybe next time. But I will show you the bones that I did find. So I found 13 bones today. And the first bone we found was this jaw bone. And I think this is my favorite find of the day. I can tell by the teeth that this was a grass eating machine. And here's our smallest bone of the day. This is probably John's favorite. I don't know why. I won't ask why, but uh, it's kind of cute. I'm surprised I spotted it. There's also this bone, which I think looks cool. It's quite obvious that it's a bone. And there's a hole through it. Probably normal. Leave a comment if you <laughs> if you know what that is. And of course, a whole bunch of other bones that are most likely arm bones and leg bones. I just don't know. I clearly have to become more educated with this sort of stuff. Anyways, all in all, I'm quite pleased with this. Now, before we end this video, we're going to go over to what they call the Bone Dome to show you guys and myself a little bit of their collection of what they found here over the last several years while looking for bones. Let's go. Okay, this is it. Echo. Wow. Hi. <laughs> so Laura's gonna quickly take us for a quick little tour. I might interrupt her a bunch because there's a lot of questions that I have that maybe she'll be able to answer. Maybe. So we've been working this site for 16 years. What? Yeah. I had no idea it's been going on for that long. I only heard about it a couple years ago, but it makes sense because some of these photos look about 10 years old, five years old. You look like me. <laughs> yeah. So we have an estimated 250,000 fossils now in our collection. Oh my God. And we're still finding more. So looking at this first table right here, I just realized something. When I was at the bone yard, I was looking for the bone marrow holes in the bones, but I wasn't looking for anything that didn't have those. So I'm wondering if I threw any ivory. Um, I don't think you did because if you were touching them, these are heavy. Wood is super light. Wood would split okay, yeah. You would know if you pick that up because it's going to look like wood but feel like a rock. It's so heavy. See, I knew that. I was just testing you. How are these for dog bones? <laughs> <laughs> they are huge. I won't touch them, but look at that. It's actually kind of scary. Just throws things into perspective how small we are. I couldn't imagine if these things existed today. Just roaming the earth on your gold claim or something. That'd be so cool. Oh. Yep. Maybe not. So did you find this? Mm -hmm. that, oh, you did, I was just guessing. You actually found that one? Uh-huh. Oh my God, was that not your first one you found, eh? I don't even remember the first one oh that we found. Oh gosh. Like that would probably just be sticking out of the ice, just the yeah. tip. Yeah, and you never know how big it's gonna be. It'll just have like this that's, much coming out of the wall. That's part of the fun. It's like metal detecting for gold. You find a little piece and you're trying to pull it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. So this is the blue stuff that we were mentioning earlier, which is Vivianite, right? Yes, Vivianite. I wish I knew more about bones, but it actually just takes a lot of years to learn. There's just so many different shapes, sizes, and pieces. It's like a big puzzle, but it's something I do want to practice and something I want to get better at to one day maybe impress their family. We'll see. So this would be really cool to find. I believe this is a step by, I think these are all step bison. I actually have one horn that John Reeves gave me the last time I was out here. So for about 10 years, 
We didn't post about this. We didn't share it with anybody. This was just our quirky family hobby. And it wasn't until really my dad started posting it on his Instagram and went on Joe Rogan. Then the whole world caught on. But for a decade, we were just doing this for fun. We didn't know there was scientific value. We just did it because we loved it. Hello. So a huge question a lot of people have been wondering, including myself, why are there so many bones in that location? We don't know. We don't know. All we know is all of these bones, they range so much in time, from 4,000 years old to 12,000 years old on the youngest side. So something over time, they're all being brought there. We don't find a whole mammoth skeleton laying down each vertebrae in sequence. It's not like that. We'll find a mammoth on top of a bison, on top of a camel, on top of who knows what. But it seems like something has picked up everything in the area and push it here either in one massive event, massive flood, or over time. And I think because you don't know, it makes it way more interesting. And if you guys have a theory, my theory was like a sand pit, but then you would find the whole animal, so that goes out the window. But if you have a theory or an idea, leave a comment down below because everyone does want an answer, and I think it's really unique that nobody has an answer yet. I think that's actually kind of cool.